Hello YouTube, today we'll be working with our Ubuntu server yet again to change our IP address method of DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol to static IP addressing. And this is great for servers that need to keep the same IP address on a dynamic network and that way people access the correct resources instead of getting 404s and other errors. So let's start by editing our configurations file, our network interfaces file. So let's let's log in first of all. So we were web user and let's just click inside the window. Web user and our password of password. And you can see that we've logged in. So let's just see a simple if configuration um, command. So if config and we can see here that on ETH0 our INET address is 192.168.0.1 118. So we want that to stay at, let's say, 120. So why don't we just take a blank text file, I'll go ahead and open up Notepad here, and let's resize this, and let's just copy all the contents. So what I'm going to do is copy the address that I would like. So let's say IP, and let's say that we want 192.168.0.120. And then we'll say that our subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And that means that everything in this address is unique up to the fourth address. Everything is going to be unique up until that fourth address so most everything will stay the same and let's also record that our broadcast is so we can write bcast and you can see there that it's 192.168.0.255 and then let's say that we're going to copy down our network adapter if you have multiples and this is great for doing otherwise in this case it doesn't really make much difference but we'll do it anyways and we'll just bring that window there let's open up our Ubuntu server Okay, so the first thing we want to do is type sudo vi forward slash etc forward slash network and then interfaces forward slash after network. Hit enter. Type in our password of password. And here we are. We're in this nice looking file. So we can see here that we have auto and then lo for loop. Um, loop back or loop out that that's just our local host and I face and all this stuff and you can see here that loop back is here and then we have the primary network interface so if you have multiples you can edit those as well we can see here that auto and then eth0 so here we see I face eth0 inet dhcp and DHCP is what we're interested in right now currently. So let's see what we can do here. So let's hit I because we're in VI and we're going to edit this. So let's change it to static. And then let's add a new line and hit tab for each of these lines. And let's say address ADDRESS and then space 192.168.0.20. Is what we decided on. I believe it was 120. So one right in front of the 20. And then drop a new line and net mask space 255.255.255.0 just as we discussed before and network. This will just be 192.168.0.0. Dot zero, and so this is basically your IP address up here. Just cut off that last um, three numbers or whatever it may be, and just put dot zero. And then let's hit enter again. And our broadcast so b r o a d cast space one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot two fifty five, and then one more line for our gateway. So gateway space 192.168.0.1 that is our uh, gateway 
and then we'll hit escape, shift, colon, WQ to save, hit enter. There we go, we can see that it has been written. And now we need to change some DNS settings. So let's do sudo vi forward slash etc forward slash resolve v dot conf. Hit enter. And we can see here that we have two name servers. So if you'd like to change your DNS servers, you can go right ahead. Right here, you would change this name server and this name server. You could use Google's. DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 and that would set you up with Google's DNS servers. So we're just going to leave this the same and we can type WQ even though we haven't changed anything. You can just type quit. And one other thing that we have to do is if we have DHCP client installed we would have to remove that. This is not installed on the system, but we'll go ahead and show what it would be like if we were to remove it. So dhcp-client, and hit enter, and you can see here that it's not installed, so it won't be removed. And now, if we do type ifconfig, we can see here that our IP address is still the same, but in order to get that to change, we have to type in a command. So we have to do sudo forward slash etc init.d and then networking restart and this will restart our network adapters without having to restart our machine so we can do ifconfig again and we can see here that we have an IP address of 120 and that is static so that is how you change your IP address in Ubuntu server to be a static IP address instead of DHCP I hope you like this tutorial there are many more to come if you like please rate comment and subscribe thank you